even people who were stripped of Bibles had enough knowledge of things in the Bible that they could do that. They could contemplate biblical truth, eternal truth. We now understand who we are. We understand that because of that, we must live by codes and creeds. How do we solidify these things in our minds and our hearts? Well, I would say it's culture. You know, it's environment and culture. You know, almost all of education isn't the curriculum of what books you buy and what books you, what what kind of workbooks your kids do and read. Um, It's really more what experience are we having on a day-to-day basis. Um, And particularly for children, and this is more true the younger they are, it's the rituals, the the liturgy of the home, the, you know, it, it gets down to very, very simple things. Do you pray before meals? Do you have a family prayer time? Do you read the word of God and talk about it together in terms and then try to connect it with experiences in daily life, you know, right. and that's a cultural thing. That's I mean, if you want to say the curriculum, OK, there's the Bible. You know, but even people who were stripped of Bibles had enough knowledge of things in the Bible that they could do that. They could contemplate biblical truth, eternal truth. And uh, that's why I believe it's so important that children learn songs, um, memorize some prayers, memorize as much scripture as they can, um, know their Bible stories. You know, I'm I'm I've been mentally drafting a response to this woman on the TikTok video because she thinks you know Christianity is child abuse, and and I'm thinking to fail to give children a foundation of belief, even if it's not perfect, Amen. that's child abuse. Yeah, um, they need to have a way of understanding the world and their place in it, even if it's not a hundred percent correct. It's better than nothing. And we do that with the story. The best thing for a child is to go to church, say grace with mom, say, you know, a a simple prayer at night and read Bible stories because then they've got something to hold on to that that is based in revealed truth, in in God's divine truth. And when you deprive children of all, all that, what do they have but the confusion of the world around? So one of the things that I was trying to do was to say to all the parents listening to this talk, please think about what songs are you singing? What poems are you memorizing? Uh, What scriptures are going to be available kind of on the tip of your mind, the tip of your tongue, the tip of your heart? Um, What Bible stories, what, what great stories, you know, both historical stories of martyrs and saints and great Christians throughout all of history, uh, and and what are the great Bible stories and the miracles of Jesus, the sayings of Jesus, the the that that if if I was stuck in a prison with nobody and nothing to sustain my soul, I would rely only on my memory and imagination. Right. So how is memory and imagination furnished? And that was the point that I was trying to give to the listeners of this talk, and that I would leave you know your listeners with now, especially the fact that. You know, dads are heads of families, and it's too easy. And I, I think every one of us is guilty. Um, well, I'll say, I think I and I know other dads who have kind of defaulted to mom, especially in the homeschooling mm-hmm. world. Like, mom's in charge of the education of the kids, and if she institutes, you know, a thing, then I'll go along with it. Right. But I think the dads need to really step up and take take a leadership role in the spiritual side of preparedness for the future. Yeah. Amen. We are called to be stewards and uh, God uses the picture of stewardship in his word. In many ways, he talks about stewardship of money, stewardship of resources. It's no less of a calling to be stewards of our children's hearts and lives. And man, when you talk about child abuse, I can't think of any worse form of abuse than not stewarding our children toward a life of eternal gladness, eternal service of the King. 
This episode of Rapid Response was brought to you by CTC Math. Visit them at ctcmath.com today.